Hello, my name is Sergio Delamo, and in this video, I'm going to show you the changes to validation in Micronaut Framework 4. I have here three applications. I have a Micronaut 393 application. I have a Micronaut 4 application using Gradle, and I have a Micronaut 4 application using Maven. Uh, the application that I am showing you here right now is the Micronaut 3 application. Please know that I have the io.micronaut uh, validation dependency on my class path. Uh, in this sample application, I have one controller. Uh, I name it in newsletter controller. It's returning uh, the HTTP status code 201. If everything goes fine, it's a post request. It's receiving a, a JSON a object in the body. Uh, and it's uh, using the add value annotation. Please know that in Micro 3, you, we, we are still using the JavaX validation annotations. And the subscriber is a Java record, uh, is using the JavaX validation constraints annotation. Again, in Micro 3, still we use the JavaX validation annotations. Uh, we are telling uh, that the name is optional an email must be a valid email address. Um, and an important thing is that we annotated this class with that introspected. Uh, micro validation requires that your classes, uh, which need to be validated, should be annotated with that introspected. I have a test uh, to show you uh, that this works. So I have a micro test. Uh, this will start the uh, micro application. Uh, I am injecting uh, the micro HTTP client into my test. I am getting a blocking HTTP client because typically you don't care about the reactive streams. In uh, your test, uh, I am sending uh, one request uh, with a valid email address. It's a post request. Uh, this map will be serialized into JSON by the micro HTTP client. And I am checking that no exception is being thrown because my code HTTP client will throw an exception, um, will throw an HTTP client response exception when uh, the return type uh, HTTP status code is uh, not in the range of 200 or 300. So if you get like a 400 or a 500 uh, error, you, that will be an exception. So uh, I am checking that no exception is thrown, thus uh, everything went well. And I am checking that the response is uh, 201, uh, HTTP status created. And then I am doing the uh, test, uh, verifying that when I send a not valid email address, uh, the subscriber Pojo is actually validated and a uh, uh, 400 HTTP status code is returned. And uh, my code supports different ways of uh, representing an error in an API that will be a topic for another video uh, but uh, that test uh, will pass let me execute it for you so what are the changes in my code for uh, I have here the my code for application uh, the subscriber class uh, is used insertable deserializable um, I have used that uh, instead of an introspective because uh, I am using my serialization, which is the default in uh, my code framework for see other video for this uh, particular topic. Uh, but uh, please know that the uh, deserializable is introspective. So this is exactly the same uh, as I was showing you in the micro three applications in terms of um, validation. Same constraints. Uh, please note that the constraint in Micronaut 4 is no longer a JavaX validation.constraints, but Jakarta validation.constraints. We have finally uh, finished the translation to the Jakarta uh, namespace in Micronaut 4. Uh, in the controller, uh, the add valid annotation is also Jakarta.validation.valid. Uh, the rest of the controllers is 100% uh, the same. Uh, the test uh, is exactly the same. Uh, and uh, the, the big change is that uh, Micronaut validation is no longer in Micronaut core. It uh, has moved into its own repository. It's in the github.com slash Micronaut dash projects slash Micronaut dash validation. And uh, that means that you have to add uh, dependencies with different uh, Maven coordinates. Uh, moreover, my code validation requires you uh, in my code four requires you to add an annotation processor class path dependency, which is the Micronaut uh, validation processor, which I have included right here. And the my code validation dependency now has a different group ID, so the group ID is IO.micronaut.validation. 
And with those changes in place, so I change the dependency uh, coordinates, uh, the test will pass. So if I run here, Gradle test, the application will behave exactly as you uh, expect. So that's a change. Uh, you have to uh, update your build to add a new annotation processor class per dependency and the uh, micro validation uh, group ID has changed. In Maven, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, you are going to have to come to the pom.xml. You're going to have to add an annotation uh, processor class per dependency as shown uh, in this highlighted the snippet. So I have here the micro validation processor. And uh, I have also here the uh, io.micro.validation group ID and the micro validation artifact ID dependency. So if I run here in my Maven application the test, the test will pass. Uh, micro validation uh, is a subset of the beam validation specification. Uh, I think we will fulfill more of your uh, needs uh, regarding validation, and we have made uh, a big effort in MyCode 4 to be uh, even more compliant with bit validation specifications. So I encourage you to give it a try. And I am one person that always uses validation in my MyCode applications, and I encourage you to check it out and, and do the same. Stay tuned for more videos regarding uh, MyCode 4. Uh, thanks for watching, and talk to you soon.